so today is thursday the 15th of october and it's day one of me taking you guys along for a week in my life but now it is 11 10 and i actually have a meeting in literally five minutes but i wanted to record this really quickly so what happened is i woke up at 9 a.m today i got showered and stuff um in preparation of my counseling i normally go to counseling on thursdays so normally i just have like a zoom session with my therapist and we just talk about stuff so that was from 10 to 11 and then after that i had to rush over to the library which is where i am right now i'm in a room by myself and i'm about to have another zoom meeting in four minutes now where i'm going to be meeting the trustees for my school um i was invited by one of the deans at my school to just meet the trustees and have a conversation with them let them get to know me tell them what i think about the school and um, you know just hear what they have to say. I've never been in one of these meetings before pretty much my day today Oh, I have an exam. I forgot to mention my day today is meetings class Exam I'm writing a forensics exam and I'll tell you guys how I feel about it when I'm done with this meeting for now I gotta go because it's meeting time And last but never least uh, Benita <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Benita I'm an international student from South Africa and in particular, I am from Johannesburg. I am a junior and I'm an accounting major. Uh, what I do on campus, I'm an RA, I'm the president of BSU, I am the treasurer of Rhythm Riders and an international club and I work for the DEI house. I do the social media and I make some videos for the DEI as well for promotion. Um, and I know I'm forgetting something. And newest member of our uh, strategic planning committee, right? Yes, newest member yes. of the strategic planning committee too. Yeah, good. So uh, trustees, maybe you can tell them a little bit, the students a little bit about each of you. I mean. So I'll send it to her. Mm -hmm. I'll send it to, and I'll CC him in it. Yeah. I'll send it to. Hey guys, so I just got out of my meeting and the time is like, it's like 2.15 and I have my next class, my first class, I have my first class in 15 minutes. I literally have about 10 minutes to grab a quick snack and go on over to my first class. So this is what I'm gonna be eating. It's an empanada. It's like this little, I don't know what that is, but it's nice, um, yeah. Hey y'all, so I just got done with my class and right now I'm sitting here preparing for the exam which I need to write in about 15 minutes. And can I please tell you guys, I'm so nervous with this exam and I'm not lying. This is not one of those cases, you know, you get those smart people who are like, oh my God, I'm so scared, it was so hard. And they come back and they get their like 90%. But I'm being genuine here. I'm genuinely nervous for this exam. I'm about to write forensic accounting and I, I just don't know what's going on. It's confusing. It's open book and you know you know people tend to make open book tests more difficult this is not a lie guys open the open book exams or tests are so difficult so i printed out my notes and i'm just highlighting to get key points and then i have this whole textbook this textbook is horrendous let me show you guys my textbook this is it the forensic and investigative accounting textbook hey oh wait this is my accounting partner say hey hi so we always do accounting together anyway so look at this do you see this? There's not even any pictures in this. No pictures. How am I supposed to read and study? Look, words everywhere. Just words, no pictures and formulas. So that is why I'm going to rely on my notes and hope for the best. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Are you nervous? Extremely. How do you think it's gonna go? I have no idea. Absolutely no clue. No, but you know what? He's one of those people who always say that and then gets 90%. He's one of those people. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Not all the time. Not all the time. <laughs> so, guys, I'll let you know how it goes. Two hours later. Oh, my God! Tell me why I thought that me... The same me who dropped accounting in high school felt like it was a good idea 
to make accounting my major. Yes, guys. Yo! Oh. That exam. Mm. Yeah, I know, guys. Forensic accounting. Yo! Oh. Anyway, so I just got done with my exam and it is... Uh, uh, 5 12 right now I have another meeting at 6 p.m. which is round about in like less than an hour and that one is gonna be a meeting over dinner though and then that's my last meeting for the day uh, so this has been day one of a day in my life a day filled with meetings and exams and studying and yeah I know guys I'm not gonna vlog the dinner that I'm having um, because there's just no need. And also it's a meeting and I don't really know this person so well, so I don't think I can just vlog them. So this is where I sign out for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Who was that? Mm. Bye guys. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my outfit for today. This is what I'm wearing. Um, these shoes are new, so I'm trying to wear them to get them to stretch, and I'm in so much pain. But they're so cute, guys. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this is my outfit. I don't normally dress up for school, just that today I felt like it. The next day. Look at it outside. It's literally like so blue. Hi guys, so today is Friday the 16th of October and um, whew, wow, you know the hardest thing about doing this whole spend a week in my life thing is I have to film even on the days where I feel like I don't look pretty, like I feel like I look really it's weird right now, you know, but got to film anyway. So today is Friday and I don't have any classes today, but I do have meetings. I have three meetings and it's 12 p.m. right now, so I guess it's not even morning, but it's 12 p.m. and I've already had one meeting already. And right now I'm in the same room as yesterday where you guys saw me for the trustees meeting because this is my room, guys. I even have a blankie. Look, brought my blankie. I'm on the couch and everything. This is my room but this is where i'm going to have the second meeting so the first meeting i had was about a speaking engagement that um they want me to do so there's a sorority on campus that wants me to go and speak at their chapter meeting um so that's what the first meeting was about and then this second meeting is to do group work for a project that we have due and then the third meeting is with my bsu exec board we have an event coming up next week this is the post that i had to print out um and i printed out a whole lot of these posters because i'm gonna go hang them around like campus um, yeah so i'm meeting with bsu to discuss the event and do like finishing touches for it make sure that we're prepared it's our big event for the semester and i'm really nervous about it because first of all it's like a split between i hope people show up and i'm nervous because i feel like a lot of people are going to show up and that means having to manage in terms of social distancing and stuff and also like you know the more people show up the more pressure there is to like perform i'm just really nervous like i hope this event goes well goes according to how we planned it and i know nothing ever really goes 100 percent according to plan i think but i hope it goes well um, because I'm going to invite the president of the school, hopefully. I don't know if he'll show up, but I'm going to extend the invitation. Um, the track team is going to be there. They have to come. And the Greeks are go and we're inviting the Greeks and the RAs and other clubs and stuff. And I'm just really nervous of like, you know, it's really just putting yourself out there. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm the president of BSU. And so like the failure is my failure. When you are the head of something or the leader of something, the failure is your failure the success is your success you know so i'm just really worried and i hope it turns out well and that there's no trouble but you guys are gonna see that in my vlog also also benny for the babies benny for the marks benny for the vibes the exam that i wrote yesterday i got my grades back and i got 91 percent guys yo <laughs> This is not one of those cases, you know, you get those smart people who are like, oh my god, I'm so scared, it was so hard. And they come back and they get their like 90%. Why the f you lying? Ooh, oh my god, stop lying. God is good. When I tell you guys God is good, when I tell you guys God is God, when I tell you guys God is the Alpha and the Omega. Let me put my phone down, I'm tired of holding it. 
when i tell you guys that god is the ultimate guys he is honestly the ultimate like when i look at my life and all these meetings that i've been in it's so overwhelming like it's really overwhelming guys to have to balance i've got three jobs and i'm a youtuber and i am a student who's trying to uphold my marks um and then i'm in all these meetings as a student leader and it's like it's overwhelming you know as you guys can see like i'm in and out of meetings and i'm studying and i'm this and i'm that and like it's just it's a lot but at the same time i really thank god because it's a blessing to be doing all the things i'm doing and to be a part of the things that i'm a part of so um yeah also i spoke to my mom today i called her uh to tell her how i feel and tell her ask her to like pray for me and stuff like that do you guys ever do that like sometimes i call my mom and i'm like please pray for me and i give her a whole list of stuff and i'm like okay thanks and she'll just pray i really appreciate it but yeah i spoke to my parents earlier today um and i have not eaten yet i don't tend to eat until i don't know i have enough time i guess but I haven't eaten today. I'm probably going to eat, depending on how long this meeting runs, I might eat after this meeting. Um, but if it, if it runs, if it ends just in time for my next meeting, then I'm only going to eat um, after my, my- So this is what it looks like in the store. Hey guys, so my responsibilities for the daytime are over. Like I said, I've got rounds later. I've got rounds. So I'm an RA, which is a resident advisor. And so I've got rounds tonight, which means I have to walk around three different buildings and just make sure that everything is fine. People are doing what they're supposed to be doing. If anyone needs help, I'm the guy. Anyone gets locked out of their room, I'm the guy. Um, and I live in one building, but I'm in charge of like three buildings along with some other RAs. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. And I just wanted to show you guys my setup. So I'm done with all my meetings and I'm about to eat for the first time now. I have not eaten today. Um, and yo, I'm so hungry. Um, I'm back in this room of mine. Like this room is like my little sanctuary outside of my room. Cause no one ever comes here and there's a couch. So I'm sitting on a couch right now and I already have my blankie. So literally what I'm about to do now is first of all, I'm going to eat. So this is what I'm eating. It's like, a wrap i guess honestly i don't like how this lady put it together other people normally do it nicer but yeah so looks a bit messy but i'm eating a wrap and i have some orange juice so i'm done eating and i'm about to do my homework while i watch Grey's anatomy i'm gonna show you guys my setup and the last bit of filming i'm gonna do for the day is just showing you something that i got in the mail for the event that i was telling you guys about and then that's my friday vlog so this is my setup. I've got my laptop open with what I need to do. The book, I've got Grey's Anatomy on my iPad. I've got water, my blankie, book, charger. And this is the room that I'm in, by the way, that I love. So I just wanted to show you guys my outfit for today. Nothing special, gym pants. You're gonna see me in these a lot. And this is my, so, what is it? It says, so if the sun sets you free, you, will be free indeed. John 8, 36. Say hello to the people. This is for my vlog. Hello. That's it. Hello. That's it. It's been a long day. His food looks so good. And I'm sitting here having a banana and jelly. You got all that. You can make it work too. I got, um. We were given the same thing. It just shut reminds up. you of how you shut. make things work. Shut up. I got this for later. Dang, forgot a knife. Good job, genius. <laughs> hey guys, so back in my room. I'm really tired. Um, it's 8 p.m. and I have two hours until I have work, which is at 10 p.m. And I have rounds from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. tomorrow. I'm not gonna vlog me being on rounds because obviously I'm going into people's living spaces and so I don't really want to showcase that on camera, that's not my right. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the last 
bit that I record for today. And what I'm currently doing right now is I got this in the mail. It's supposed to be a life-size cutout board. And um, this is for the BSU events that we're having next week. And this is our big event. Now I'm kind of worried because I don't really know how I'm supposed to open this. Like I'm so worried I cut something that should not get cut. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is supposed to be a life-size cutout board. That's it for today, guys. It is uh, about 4 20 p.m. on Saturday. I woke up at like around 11 um, and then I went to go shower. So every day when I wake up, the first thing I say is thank you God, like for waking me up. Although sometimes, you know, I do wake up and the first thing I do is like check my phone, but I try to like check myself and the first thing I do is just thank God that I woke up. So I woke up at like 11 and you know, thank God that I'm awake and then I go take a shower. I always take a shower first thing when I wake up, take a shower, brush my teeth. Um, and then after that, I was on the phone with my mom for like three hours. And then, um, what else did I do? And then I was on the phone, and then I was on the phone with some friends as well. And after that, I had my prayer time with God, where I was just praising and worshiping Him before I leave my room. And that's how I found myself here at like 4 p.m. So my cafeteria, the cafeteria at my school opens at half past four for dinner. So I'm just waiting until half past four so I can go get food. And then after I get food, I'm gonna go to one of the academic buildings and I'm gonna do some homework um with some friends while well, they're playing a game and i'm gonna do homework while they play a game and then my other friend is actually gonna fix my hair for me because the reason why i'm wearing a head wrap is because some of my braids are out like look see oh okay let's see this is my hair right here you see? anyway i just wanted to show you guys this is my outfit for today i have my head wrap on but my friend is gonna do my hair so i have to keep it on for now because my hair is a mess under here and then i've just got my flat shoes on i painted my nails baby blue um but yeah simple dress this is my outfit why are you doing this to this woman <laughs> nichelle i don't know what you think you're gonna do what like what do you think this is doing for her right now how are you helping i don't know what she tried to do my French fries go up. She tried to jump on my back. I don't know what you thought that was going to be. You always jump on your back. She's on your back, but you come after me. <laughs> Why are you not getting dragged? Is that my mom business? Well, I'm just going to have you suffer now. I don't want to play this. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's starting it. Oh, I don't want to play it. You're almost done. No. Look to your left. Look to your left. Look up to all. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha